Okay, in this video, what we're going to do is we're going to actually edit a movie on the Motorola Zoom tablet. Now, there's a program that comes with the tablet itself. It's called Movie Studio. And I'm going to click on that right now. Now, this program enables you to actually edit movies on the tablet itself. So what I did is I took a couple of short movies and some pictures, and I have a, a song on there, a royalty-free song I'm going to put on there. And I'm actually going to make a video on this device, and I'm going to show you how to edit on it right now. And then I'll actually post the finished video to the channel. So we're going to start here with a new project. We're going to click on that, and we're going to title it Test 1. Okay. okay, this is the interface that you're met with, and up here in the upper right-hand corner, you have a couple of icons. There's an Add Movie and an Add Pictures icon. We're going to check what's on this menu icon here, Change Project Name or Delete Project. We're not going to do either one of those right now. We're just going to Add a Movie. We're going to go to my camera roll here, and these are all the movies that I took. Let's click on this one to start. And we're going to add a picture in here. This one. Okay, the first thing you'll notice is that the picture was put right where this playhead is here. And it's at the beginning. If I don't want this picture in here anymore, I can just highlight it and go up here to the menu icon and I can go to remove. Do you want to remove this image? Of course I do. And it pulls it right off. But I actually do want an image in this, so I'm going to put another one in. Okay, now when you select one of the items that you put into the playlist here, you get a couple of icons up here in the upper right-hand corner. The first one here is an effect, so you can actually change the filter on what you have on there. So you can give a gradient effect, sapia, negative effect, 50s effect, so there's a couple of different effects you can put on there. Okay, the next icon up here is Fin, and that allows you to put titles onto your project here. So you can put one in the center, on the bottom, uh, you can do it centered with a different background color, you can do on the bottom with a different background color. So you have four options here. The next icon up here allows you to do transitions on here. So you have Contour Alpha, Diagonal Alpha, Crossfade, Fade to and from back, sliding right out, left in, sliding left out, right in, sliding top out, bottom in, sliding bottom out, top in. I'm going to add a couple of these effects on here so you can actually see what it looks like. And then, of course, up here you have the menu icon where you can remove the thing that you selected if you want or change the rendering mode. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to put a couple things in here and get them all organized and then I'm going to show you adding transitions and I'll show you a couple other things along the way. So I'll see you on the other side of that. Okay, I've been playing around with this a little bit and I organized my videos and my, my pictures into something that was a little more cohesive here. Added transitions and I know a little bit more about uh, this program now. Now, I'm just going to show you here, there's a clip here, and if you want to select it, you tap it, and it gives you a couple of options up here. Now, we went over some of them earlier. If you wanted to add, if you want to change the, the uh, filter on it, you can click the first icon there. If you want to add titles, you hit that. Now, these two here are transitions. This would be for the beginning of the clip. If you want to put something in the beginning of the clip, that would be the transition there. And if you want to put something at the end of the clip, that would be the transition there. If you want, you can go up here to the menu icon and you can remove it if you'd like, or you can change the rendering mode. Now this allows you to give black borders here, stretch to fit, or crop the image there. I'm just going to keep it as it is, and I want to show you one other thing. If this clip is not the way you want it and you want to edit it and cut it down, you can do so by 
changing the end point and the beginning point. Now if you see, you have a little arrow, a little green arrow here, and a little green arrow here. And what you want to do is if you want to, let's say, the playhead is here, let's say that's where you want to clip it, you just grab onto this arrow here and you move it over, oh, a little too much, you move it over, there you go, to where you want it to. Now it ends at that point there. Okay? The same is true for the beginning here. If you want to, you just want to move the, the beginning point of this clip over. You just grab the little arrow here and move it over here. I don't know if you can see that. Let's see. Let's do that again. There you go. You see? I'm shortening it up from the beginning of the clip. Okay? Now you'll also notice you have an, an arrow on both sides now. So you can shrink it more or if you shrunk it too much, you can extend it. So if you want, you just grab the arrow and move it out more again. You grab the outer arrow, okay? Now I'm going to delete the clip here. You go up to the upper right-hand corner and hit the menu button and you hit remove, okay? And then it verifies if you want to do it or not. Of course I do. And the next thing I'm going to show you is adding a transition. This last clip here, I'm going to put a transition at the beginning and the end of it. So I'm going to select it here. And then again, up here, these two icons show you that you can put one in the beginning and one at the end. So I'm going to select the beginning transition here. And we're just going to do a uh, contour alpha on that. Let's see how that turns out. Now right now, if you notice right here, it's rendering that transition there. Okay, you have a little status icon below the transition. Now I usually do my editing on a 6 core computer. This is a dual core 1 gigahertz computer. So it is the equivalent of a, you know, a fast netbook. Just keep that in mind when you're doing video editing cuz video editing is something that's fairly processor intensive. But this does a nice job for a nice basic video editor so far. So what I did is I put a transition in the middle there. And if I find that I really don't want to use that transition, I can select it and I can change it. There's a little pencil icon in the upper right hand corner here. There's also a garbage icon. So if I wanted to throw that transition away, you hit the garbage icon. If you want to change it, you go to the pencil icon and you can change it to whatever you want. I'm just going to leave it as is and I'm going to add a fade out to the end of it. Okay, so I'm going to select the clip again and this time I only have a fade out transition or a end transition icon up here. The other icon you have here is going to enable you to crop it. So your menu icon goes away and you have your cropping icon there or what I showed you earlier where you can stretch to fit or crop it and your garbage icon if you want to throw the clip away. But I'm keeping the clip here. Now I'm going to put an outro transition on it and I'm going to do a fade to black here. Okay? And it's rendering that. Okay, now let me show you the controls in the program itself. Over here, this circle here, it's going to resize your workspace. So right now, it's pretty much zoomed out. You can zoom it in more or zoom it out more just by grabbing this little circle here and moving it along. So let me show you. As you can see, I'm making it smaller. I'm zooming out more of the project. And then if I want to get in real close, I can zoom in and that would help me if I wanted to edit something at a fine point and I could zoom in as far as possible. So that's what this control does over here. Over on the right hand side, you have your play controls. So Here's a section, here's a clip I added. If I wanted to move back a clip, I would hit this button up here. So it's like moving back a chapter on a DVD player, as you can see. Likewise, you have the reverse here, where if you want to fast forward to the next clip, you click on this. Now, if you want to go all the way to the beginning of the project, you hit this button here. Okay? And if you want to play, you hit play. Now, another thing you can do is you can actually add audio to this project here. You have a little 
audio section here. If you want, you can click here and add audio here, or you can go up to the menu icon and import music there. What I'm going to do is I'm going to click on this down here, and it's going to allow me to either import music from RingDroid, which is a program I have on the, on the machine, or you can go to Select Music Track, which is your music library. So I'm going to select from the Select Music Track, and it's going to bring up all the audio I have on the tablet here. We're going to go with Cold Funk here, which is a royalty-free music here, and we're going to hit OK. Now what that's going to do is it's going to add it to the project and you have a status bar here on the bottom. It's going to run the entire length of the project and once, it's, once that's all green, then it's ready to go. Alright, now you see the actual visual of the audio here. So let me hit play on this now and you can see how the project is coming together with audio in it. Now as you can hear there, the actual audio on the video is still included in there. Okay, these are just pictures here right now, but the, the audio shot with the video is included with the music over it. Okay. Okay, now if you want to change that, what you do is you click on the audio section down here that you added on there, and now in the upper right hand corner you have a couple of options. You have this option here, which you can actually change the volume on it, which is a volume slider. So we're going to increase it all the way, and we're going to play and see how that affects the video. So it makes the audio track a little more dominant, and it puts the actual audio from the video puts it down a little bit lower, although you still have the audio from the video in there. And over here you have a trash icon, so if you want to throw the audio track out, you could do that as well. Okay, the one last thing I want to show you on this is adding a title. So we're going to go to the clip that we want to add it to here, and we're going to click on it. And then up in the upper right hand corner is a fin icon here. You're going to click on that and you select the one that you'd like to add for the title. You have four options here. You can do it in the center of the screen or at the bottom. I'm going to choose the one at the bottom here and we're going to add a title in here. So we're going to call it Tech Harvest. And I think we're up to 117 now. And the subtitle is going to be Android movie studio okay and we're gonna hit OK here now as you can see just below the clip I selected there is a small representation of that title there I'm gonna select that because I'm gonna actually make it bigger here you have two arrows there, just like you would if you selected a clip, like I showed you earlier. And I'm just going to extend it the entire length of that clip. Okay. There we go. So I made it a little bit bigger there. So if you want to see the finished product on this, check my next video, which will be video 117. Of course, you're watching 116 right now. So that pretty much does it for... Android Movie Studio on Android Honeycomb tablets. So far, I like the program. It's a nice, lightweight video editor. And remember, you want a basic video editor on a tablet because this might be the most powerful tablet on the market right now, but tablets don't compare to computers. I have a six core computer that I built that I do most of my video editing on, and the video editing software for that is a little bit more powerful. But this is perfect for on the go if you want to make a quick video, edit a quick video, and put it out there. So I'm actually going to upload the finished product to the YouTube channel from this tablet, and you can see for yourself what the quality is. So that does it for this video. I'll see you next time.